The only thing I love more than a Mackey's is a Mackey's on holiday. I love to try all the different things that they don't have back at home. And you're lucky enough to come with me. They do a McMuffin meal all day. Better my muff. Triple chicken mayo burger. You're winding me up. Popcorn chicken. Chicken wing, chicken wing. Cheesy chips. Actual wedges. And a... Usually when people go on vacation, they're usually going to get the wherever they're going special oriented meals. So like if you're going to Italy, you maybe get baguettes and you maybe eat a special designer pizza that doesn't have cheese on it or things such like that. If you go to New York, then maybe you get like a chopped cheese. Maybe you get like a special pizza that's specifically made in in New York. I don't know about like going to a, a, a an area of the world and then going, let's get some McDonald's, bro. Like, you know, I, I heard they got some – I don't doubt that they do have special menu items. But the, when, when the menu items are literally like a bacon, you know, a sausage, egg, and cheese all day – and then a triple stacked, what, chicken sandwich, dude? I mean, I guess, dude, but, like, is that really what we're doing? Couldn't you just get that at your own place? Couldn't you just buy, like, three of those regular chicken sandwiches? I'm pretty sure they do doubles everywhere. You could just buy, like, a double and then, like, one extra one and put them on top. How much is the price difference? It doesn't really matter, especially if you're going to McDonald's as much as this guy. So, I don't really understand, like, what is the purpose of going to a particular area of the world and just going to McDonald's. It just seems like a waste. Like, you you guys are just buying food. It's fine if you guys like McDonald's. Like, I like McDonald's, too. But this is extreme. Double three cheeses, boo. Damn, this right here does not look good at all. This looks like if you had french fries and a child took, like, a crayon and then you, like, melted it. Uh, a yellow crayon and just threw a whole bunch of, like dog treats on it. Yeah, I couldn't decide what one. Damn, you so guys I got went them all out, dude. What is a Mick Extreme, bro? That sounds crazy, dude. It sounds like when you buy this, you get a skateboard with it. Oh, let's start with the cheesy wedges. Cheesy. These were stunning. I don't usually eat chicken on a bone. It was all right. They were my favorites. And Mostly everything at McDonald's is all right. I feel like a lot of people don't realize that McDonald's is the most notoriously mid restaurant out there. Nobody goes to McDonald's for the delightfulness of the food there. You, 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 go, you go in. You got your five or six bills. Maybe you got the app so you can scan. The dude behind the counter, the Puerto Rican dude, he might have used your Whopper. Or he might have used your, your McChicken as a you know a deodorant stick. Who knows, bro? He might have had that lubing up under his arm. He probably sneezed on it three times. That's the delightfulness of McDonald's, okay? That's where you get the joy from it. It is what it is. You're not going there for delectacies. You're not going there for, like, you know, ambrosia. You're going there for the sloppiness of McDonald's. Nobody ever went to McDonald's and was like, you know, I'm going to get a really good meal today. Nobody ever said that, dude. It's McDonald's. It, it is what it is. And you know what? I'm not even opposed to eating McDonald's, dude. I've been to McDonald's. I went to McDonald's today. I did get a coffee. That's all I got from McDonald's. But I go to McDonald's at least three times a week just for their coffee. And you know what, dude? There's always a homeless guy in there. There's always a homeless guy crying on the floor because he's depressed because, you know, you're crying in McDonald's. So it's not really, you know what I'm talking about? It's pretty, pretty bad. There's never a white person behind a counter. It's always uh, Mexican dudes and or Puerto Rican dudes. I don't know if it's different in the UK since you don't, don't have like a natural supply of those guys. We have them like right next to us. So it's easier. Um, I don't know why it's always Puerto Rican dudes. It's always Puerto Rican dudes and they're super sexist. They let only women use the bathroom and they never let, they never let me use the bathroom, even though I go in there almost like three times a week and they never let me get free water. These popcorn chickens were banging too. If I had two, dude, Corey kind of looking a little bit inflated right now, bro. He been slowly but surely starting to gain a little bit of weight on the face. I've been peeping. Shiz. My first one would be to have a VIP experience at the baby. Dude, that doesn't even look. That looks dry as hell, bro. Did you see the way the it almost fell apart when he turned his hand? Like three bricks stacked on top of each other, dude. I bet if he put his mouth on this and like took it away, just. Just tons and tons of dust. Factory. And my second wish would be for McDonald's in the UK to Just bring because it's big doesn't mean it's going to be good, right? Like, how many times have you seen BBC in porn and thought, why does it look like rope? Like, what what is this guy even going to do with it? You might as well just use it as like, you know, just go and, go and like... See if you can you can get like the U.S. Navy to use your meat as like rope, so that way they don't have to spend that much money on like importing rope from China or something like that. That would be a better use of whatever is going on there. I'm just so sick of watching black dudes coming into frame and just having meat slap against leg. And when the time comes, they gotta go and just sit there and go like this. 
for like 20 minutes while the guy on the other side is like piping down the white girl like how many times do i gotta see that shit why do you guys all rock rope i get it it's a lot to fill but you guys need to like pre-order the, the 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 blood vessels or something dude i'm sick of watching that shit and just having dudes coming in slapping legs bring these on their menu how insane this was the sausage and egg mcmuffin that looks not good at all um where did you go why does everything here look extraordinarily dry and and like non-marinated bro am i wrong this actually looks pretty undelightful Donald's in the uk to bring these on their menu how insane this was the sausage like that does not look good am i wrong dude it looks like they cooked it for an additional five minutes why does it look so goddamn dry nag mcmuffin with barbecue sauce cheese that looks dry too what the fuck where did you guys go where did you guys travel to bro and crispy onions and they do buffalo sauce here for the sweet chili Damn, with bro, he kind of went overboard on this order that's kind of serious dude he got he got this and he got a triple stack chicken sandwich that was just basically dried up bricks and he got the wedges and he got the cheesy fries bro he kind of went overboard on that shit dude that's kind of serious but i will give him some credit on cutting his nails to ensure that they don't hook on to stuff. Having long nails is really not incentivized in like any scenario. I know a lot of ladies like to have longer nails. I don't really understand it personally. And a lot of them brag about the prices of it too. Like I was talking to this one girl and she was like, my nails, my nails cost like, mm, my nails cost like $80. My nails cost like $80 and I got it at the BME spot. You know how it is. Mm, you know how it is, girl. How much your nails cost? Not as much as mine. And I'm just thinking like, your nails are busted. Your nails are literally crispy. And you're over here talking about your nails being good dude i can literally see like white flakes coming off the corners of your nails bro off the cuticle my fave we're saving the best to last the three cheeseburger and this was oh bro you can't bro i thought that was it bro what are you doing bro you really went to mcdonald's in a different country and you got uh, a triple stack egg mcmuffin and then you got a triple stack you got a triple stack uh chicken sandwich and then you got a, a triple stack burger as well with the fries and the wedges god damn bro you know there are there, there are people starving you know that right like there, there there's a good amount of our population around the world that just doesn't have food and here you are body slamming you know i'm not saying not to do it go ahead i mean there are plenty of times where we're doing things we shouldn't do but i just want you to think about that you know like i want you to also think about your ancestors up in the clouds Looking down upon you doing this shit, body washing, body slamming, copious amounts of calories here, dude. Dry Hands ass burger. Best. It was dry as fuck, bro. God damn, that shit's dry. It's a brioche bun. They also do M&M and Kit Kat McFlurries. But this is the best part. I don't know if you're ready. Towels. If you want a towel reveal, let me know. Bro, bro, where did he go? Like, what is this area? Can somebody please let me know? What is this, like, India or something like that? Where, where are you getting towels from McDonald's, dude? What? Where is he? Why in a day? And you're in for a treat today because I'm taking you out. We're going to the cozy cinema. So on the way, let's stop for a Bro, I feel like McDonald's, like, I, as much as people want to say that McDonald's is, like, an American thing, I see a lot of people over there in the UK getting Mackeys on a daily basis, dude. People got to let me know about that shit, dude. I promise people here, people here in America, we don't eat McDonald's as much as you guys think we do. We just don't, okay? One of the reasons it might have you might have had a case maybe ten years ago, back when you could buy, you could buy a a McChicken for a dollar. I mean, I used to literally walk up in there with 10, 15, 20 bills, and I'd walk out of there. Ooh, I was happy as hell, bro, with a double cup of double cheeses. You had a couple McChickens on the side. Maybe you got a large drink. You was looking good. Uh, you get a small fry for a bill. It was. Oh, it, what a time to be alive. I feel like a lot of people will never understand the beauty of walking in there with $15 and walking out with literally enough food to feed your family for two days, dude. That shit was just different. Uh, but nowadays, it's too expensive. It's way too expensive, man. You know, you remember back in the day when you used to get critiqued if you, if you were dating a girl and maybe that girl had talked to her girlfriends and they were like, mm, who, wait, so where'd Jeffrey take you out? Mm, where, where, where'd Jeffrey take you out? And, mm, you know, he took me out to McDonald's or whatever. Uh, girl, you know you deserve that prison treatment. You know it. You know Je Jeffrey should do better. Jeffrey needs to do better. You know, she, he did he not know about the men's that hitting you up in the DMs? Mm, McDonald's? <sighs> he couldn't even take you to Wendy's? Mm, okay. I see how it is. But nowadays, if you were in that same friends group and you said, girl, I can't even believe this. He took me to mcdonald's oh my god girl you better lock him down he is the one mcdonald's he how would he buy you a, a quarter pounder with cheese 
Girl, that's eight dollars. Girl, that's eight and a large fry. Oh my god. I can I have his number? What does he have friends? Like that's that's literally what it is nowadays because the price difference of food has drastically like since pre-COVID. Uh, dude, the price difference at McDonald's has been crazy, okay? Like, I remember literally spending a dollar on a McChicken, and nowadays you walk in there, you're not seeing a, McD a McChicken for less than two fifty in some spots. Like, that's the lowest I've seen it in years. And you know what? If you go downtown Boston, you're paying three twenty five dollars for a McChicken. I don't know if you guys know about what's in the McChickens, but you're getting, like, horse foreskin you're getting the, some dude's elbow you're getting some like uh, indonesian man's forehead flakes you're getting all that in your food i'm not paying 350 for your breaded deep fried horse foreskin i don't want it i just you know i maybe i would have put it in my mouth if it was a dollar because it's a dollar you know what i'm talking about i have no morals for a dollar but for three dollars i'm gonna be picky I'm going to be picky, bro. So that's all I'm going to say. McDonald's got to step their game up, bro. They got to lower these prices. This is ridiculous. A dollar, there's no such thing as a dollar menu anymore. The deals on the apps are starting to get ridiculous. Uh, I remember when you used to be able to buy a, a cup of coffee for $1. Now you can't even do that. You're going to need the app for that. You need a Like, that's all I get now is I just scan that app. And it's, it's ridiculous to walk in there and think that you're going to get a cup of coffee for uh, $1.44. Bro, you really need the extra $0.44? Cents? It's bean water, bro. Come on now. Mackies. I've been dying to try the Chicken Big Mac because I've been eating healthy. We haven't been to McDonald's in a while, but today's the day. I just I really want to know what he means. See, like, I don't know where he got this burger from. This burger is real deal where you should be going. That other spot, this looks moist. I can tell when he put it, when he put his teeth into that, there was a little bit of vibration on that shit because it was so moisturized, dude. That right there, that's a quality McDonald's burger right there. I can smell that. But the one he had previously, dude, nah, bro. That shit was some... You know, spaghetti western fucking dry ass burger, dude. I'm not fucking with that shit, dude. I had cheese bites and a triple cheeseburger. Dude, that straw is way too small, bro. Come on, man. For my side, and here it is. The <laughs> Why are you doing this? Is that a fish fillet? <laughs> He's the day. I had cheese bites and a triple cheeseburger for my side. Oh, it's a it's a chicken chicken Big Mac, dude. People, man, you know what? I've been peeped that people will just buy random McDonald's items because they're, you know, FOMO, fear of missing out. Uh, I saw it recently, right? I walked into the McDonald's and they had the double Big Mac, right? So they had the, the four patty instead of the two patty. And I was like, damn, I think I might want that because like, that's a lot of meat, right? So I hit up my guy friend who always goes to McDonald's. He's always up to date with the McDonald's item. I called him up. I said, hey, man uh did you get that double big mac and he was like yeah and i was like obviously he i knew he had that and i was just asking him because i didn't want to presume that would have been a little bit insensitive but i knew he had it and i was like was it good he's like i'm gonna keep it a solid bucket you david don't get that that shit was pure slop that i put it in my mouth i did finish it but that shit was pure slop bro that shit was literally like sucking on a a, a lotioned up bbc like it's not the best after you get through it like after you get the first few bites in it's not too bad but that first few bites that shit really he said that shit was dripping down off his chin type shit and here it is the chicken big mac i feared it was quite dry I, I mean hey bro what are you gonna do bro most time most of the time chicken in general is gonna be dry unless you probably cook it i don't know what you expect that mickey d's for mayo and they said no so i bought some yeah i bro if i'm asking for a double a double big mac chicken dude and you're not gonna put the, you're not gonna put the mayonnaise on that why why not dude it's like have you ever been to a mcdonald's and you go hey can you cut the food can you cut the sandwich in half and they go oh sorry we can't do that and it's just like what do you mean? You, why? Why not, dude? You, you don't got like knives and shit? Like, I don't think they have knives. I don't think they have knives in the store. Uh, you telling me there's not a single Mexican dude back there with a switchblade that can cut my shit in half? I don't care whose knife it is. Cut that shit in half. But they real deal. I don't think they can do it. And I'm just kind of sitting there like, bro, what do you? Why not, bro? Like, just get your shit together, McDonald's. Cream and chive dip. And it was so Damn, this is some pure obesity version of Beauty and the Tramp. Dry. I asked for mayo and they said no. So I bought sour cream and chive. My 600 pound life Beauty and the Tramp right here, dude. Pure obesity. Big back Beauty and the Tramp. Chive dip. And it was so much better. It was God so damn. good. I won this seven days a week. I can't wait for the cozy cinema. And this is in all its glory. It's basically. Is that a, what is this? Is this a, what is this like a public outhouse? What is this thing? Is this like a place you could dump ass? Be a cabin pod, but with your own cinema room. It's got oh, surround oh. sound. In. Oh, bro, they're just randomly out in the middle of nowhere? Yeah, I don't know about that, bro. This sounds really suspect, dude.
you guys have bears in the UK? I mean, like, hairy gay men. I feel like I would be really scared if, like, you were just watching a movie or something like that. Isn't it just Netflix? Like, aren't you just, like, watching Netflix, dude, in a random pod? I don't know about that, dude. Like, what if you were watching a movie and just a random homeless man with an erection just starts, like, you know, banging on the door. Let me in. I'm hungry. Let me smell that food in there. Let me get it. It's basically a cabin pod. But we oh, my bad. There's, it's, you're from the UK, right? Oi. Oi, let me get in there. I'm hungry. I need to eat your mackies. Please let me in. I've got Becky Jones out here too. Your own cinema room. It's got surround sound, air con, bed and snacks. Nah, bro. You, you got me real deal fucked up if you're going in here. Bro, that's crazy, bro. They got a PlayStation controller, dude. Nah, dude. You got me fucked up. And it's on a projector? Nah, bro. How much you pay for this? How much you pay for this shit, bro? This ain't the wave. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. This ain't the wave. It's not even romantic, bro. You sitting here with your girl on some musty ass bed that probably has 15 nuts laid on that shit from the amount of like people that have probably busted on there and you think it's romantic dude i'm gonna keep it a bug bro taking your girl to mcdonald's would be more romantic than this this is suspect as fuck how many bed bugs you get from this and we're staying here overnight overnight is crazy bro why your girl so orange bro how, yo your girl is literally darker than the brown the brown one piece that she's wearing bro Yo, you got to do something about that tanning, dude. That's some that's serious, dude. You guys got issues. How iconic. We're going to watch Hollywood. See, it's literally just Netflix, bro. You guys are just watching Netflix in a pod somewhere in the middle of, like, the woods. Yeah, that's not right, bro. That's scary as fuck, bro. I haven't seen this film in years. And, we're and having... you're watching Holes out of all... I like Shia LaBeouf. He was good in, in Fury, but it was kind of... What are you doing, bro? You couldn't just do that at the crib? And you know they, you know they, look, dude, I, you know, Corey's a grown man, him and his girl, obviously, they, they probably engage in sexual activity. Uh, why wouldn't you bust a few nuts in that little pod thing? I don't understand why you wouldn't do that. It's time and a place, right? I knew a girl that wanted to have sex in the ball pit at McDonald's. So if you're sitting there and you're wondering whether or not you're going to do it there, why wouldn't you? I got called a pussy one time because this girl was like, aren't you trying to? aren't you trying to do that shit in, in public? And I was like, I, don't, I mean, no, like not really. I'm not really trying to do that. No, not even in the car. No, not even in the car. Like I'm not, are you a bitch, David? Are you a bitch? Yeah, I guess so. I guess I'm a bitch. I'm not trying to, maybe you won't get arrested for that, but I'm not trying to like literally bend you over and clap cheeks in front of the produce section, bro. Like there's a whole bunch of like, I don't even know, like green peppers and cucumbers next to us and I'm piping you down. Like it's kind of, it's a little bit inappropriate. Like was you ever heard of a bed? Like I think that's probably the more optimal spot. Um, like my personal residence is pretty optimal, I think. Not, you know, not outside of a fucking church. You know, I don't know, bro. I just, sometimes I think, people have really weird desires and it's like they just peer pressure you in the weirdest ways bro you're not gonna get me with peer pressure you're not gonna call me a bitch because i'm not having sex with you on public bro like i don't care about that but um in this particular area i don't know why you wouldn't and that's exactly the reason why i think when you lay down on those bed sheets you if you can you imagine like you're laying down on the bed sheets and then like you move your arm and it's like a you know because it's all like you're not going to be properly able to clean up all the you know, the bust butter all over the fucking blankets and shit from the previous people. And some pre-drinks before going out for food at Turtle Bay. We were supposed to do bottomless brunch. But Why I didn't you? So you went to this location and then you left and then you got this food and came back? Uber was late. We didn't have enough time. So you, so the Uber was late and you were like, I'm too hungry, bro. We're going to need to go out to eat. What that Uber guy doing? Is he just like standing outside the pod with the, with the bag of stuff just waiting for you guys to come back? Time to do bottomless brunch, so we ended up just ordering off the menu. We had some cocktails to start. Leo went for a porn star. For starters, we tried their new rum barbecue chicken wings. I've never had meat off a bone, but it was proper tasty. What? Do you, what? what do you mean you've never had meat off a bone? What are you even talking about? That's that's impossible. How old are you? What are you? What? And trying dumplings has been on my bucket list for years. When I seen them on the menu, I almost fainted. You can watch them cook your meal here. And for my main, I went for the jerk chicken. Yeah, I don't really care about when people say like, oh, let's go to this one spot where they you can watch them cook food for you. Or like, you know those Chinese dudes that like throw eggs in the sky and they crack them on the thing? I, I don't want to do that. I don't know. Like, why do people want to do shit like that? I just want my food. Like, I'm just here to sit down and eat my food in peace. I don't want to watch like a Chinese dude throw eggs at me. I don't want to see that shit. Or like, you know those places? It's always like weird like Asian restaurants, right? 
uh, or like the places where they have like bowls in front of you that cook on the on the table itself, and they have like ramen dishes and stuff like that. And a whole bunch of like Indonesian guys will come out and they'll start dancing around you and shit. Like I'm not trying to do. What are you, what are you, what are you guys even doing right now? It's not my birthday. It's not this person's birthday either. Just give me the food and like let me eat. What do you got? Why are you guys here right now? Like go away. I don't go to that person's table. I, why am I even here? How much is the bill again, dude? Like ninety eight dollars. I what what am I even paying for in this fucking restaurant? That's ninety eight dollars. Is it just because you guys are dancing around me for? 35 seconds and cheese i did ask him not to make it spicy but it was so spicy damn i would have left bro you got me fucked up hey yo this shit's spicy dog make that shit again the hottest thing i can usually handle is a tomato ketchup raggy yeah you're you giving white people a bad rap dude damn your girl is really brown in the face bro she ain't got that same brown on the body though dude just properly blended dude that's all i'm gonna ask dude damn she is really dark bro if you didn't, like, if I saw you and your girl out, I would genuinely not know what ethnicity your girlfriend was. She could literally be from, she's ethnically ambiguous, bro. Like, from afar, I mean, I know she's a white woman right now. But from afar, I would think your your woman is literally from, like, 15 different countries. I don't know. And, like, they, she could be from any single one of them. She is so dark. But then I would see that neck. And I would see that chest. And I would go, yep, nah, never mind. Never mind, dude. You couldn't spray down the rest of your body? How you so pale in the body and the neck, but your face is literally Latina? Scooby snack. We then ended up getting steaming. We Bro, you don't feel bad about that, dude? That shit is way too... Ri that's ridiculous. Look how dark you are. Damn, bro. How you two different races? Raggy? You want a Scooby snack? We then bro, that is ridiculous. Come on, bro. Come what are we doing about this show? You serious? Are you fucking serious right now, bro? What are we doing now? What are we doing over there in the UK? Is it really that bad? Like, is this... Why are we having this culture over there? Huh? And also, I gotta point it out, too. I don't wanna be mean. Why the fuck are the eyebrows propped up like this, bro? Like, you just went Super Saiyan or something like that. What are you guys doing? What are you guys doing, bro? There's no consistency to this person's body. I don't even understand how you even did this shit. And ended up getting steaming. We are drinking like the opposite of like bodybuilders. You know, they spray down the rest of their body so they can outline like the curves and the definition. They did that for her face, and After that's drink. it. And we even got some tips. Your boy, your, your Corey is good. Corey don't have he looks I he looks you know like a white dude, I suppose. But your girl, I mean, you it's up to you if you have a relationship with a with a, with a woman. Um, I would expect that you would you would try to you know push her in the right direction. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Uh, your girl come back home from the the beauty salon or whatever fuck she got that shit from. I don't know where the fuck she got that shit from, dude. But she come back home and you look upon her you're like, oh wow, you're home. Jesus Christ, what the fuck happened to you? Like, what, what, what? Why are you look so different? You gotta, it's gotta be up to you to tell her. Listen, babe, I think it's great that you like to tan. It's really beautiful, but you don't even look like a white woman anymore. You look like somebody that's not even from this continent. What the fuck are you doing? Go back and have them scrape that shit off your face with a spoon or something like that. You look really dark in the face. The rest of your body, I mean, you're literally out here. You you got two different mel you got two different melanin capacities, bro. Littles, I can't take a shot to save my life. I don't know how and I don't know why. We both ended up going to prison and getting a bottle of vodka and a boot. What the fuck is going on, bro? I thought I thought the objective for the night was to literally go and watch holes. And now here we are and we got like random women throwing confetti at us. How does a cute cinema more money, less problems? and food date night turn into this we probably look like right freaks just the two of us but then later on we bumped into this strange girl doing some irish jig i think she said her name was charlie ann she dragged us to mcdonald's even though we've already had one this morning charlie forced us i got 20 chicken nuggets and a triple cheeseburger and leah got a big mac but we've all had a lush weekend uh, is that really what it is is this uk culture right here bro is that what it is do you guys have like any rhyme or reason why you do anything at all like, what, what, what was even that transition? Like, you guys had a main objective, and you went on, like, 13 different side quests. I don't even know how you guys got there, bro. You guys were in the middle of the woods in a random pod with a whole bunch of nut butter on the bed. And then you, what, fast travel to different restaurants? How do you even do that shit? Can, you, can somebody explain what UK culture is? I got 20 chicken. How do you even go, like, oh, yeah. 
Oh yes, oh my god, it was so good. So anyway, the Uber Eats guy took way too long to get here. So we had to go and get ourselves a diner. So we went to this one spot. Don't worry about my girlfriend. I know she doesn't look white, but she is. And so anyway, we ordered, we ordered half the menu. And then we went to another location where a bunch of UK women just started throwing stuff at us. It was amazing. It was absolutely banging. Anyway, I met up with this other girl that looks like she's not real, and then she forced us to get Mackeys. And of course, you know me, I had to get the 20-piece and the triple cheeseburger. It's not that much, even though I did already go to Mickey D's today. What, are you, what is up with UK culture, bro? You guys gotta do something about that. Can I get to the triple cheeseburger? Bro, your girl gotta do something about that, bro. That's serious, bro. Who is that? Too much plastic surgery, Mac, bro. Like, all like I, I, there's like a phenomena, right? Of when you get plastic surgery in your early years, you you tend to look really, really old. And it's okay to do it when you're like, I don't know, mid 30s, maybe 40, 50, 50, 60, right? Because that's supposed to emulate what you looked like when you were younger. But you're sitting here emulating what you're gonna look like when you're 43 and you're 22. I just don't know, bro. Like, you guys, you just do shit incorrect. What are you guys doing over there, bro? I get it, but it's not good. Oh, God. Hello, everyone. God, what is you? What the fuck is this shit, bro? What did you do here? What is this thing? What the hell did you do? What is this shit? What, did your dog come over and he, he had to bust ass on this shit? What is this? Over. We went to Cardiff last night for our friend's birthday. Oh, and we was damn, bro. What a fucking miss. I've had experiences like that, bro. Late at night, you wake up, you're half asleep, you go to the bathroom, bro, and you just start, you know what I'm saying? You're just like, damn, bro, I'm tired. You start peeing, and then you feel something splashing against your leg. You're like, what is that, bro? Oh, the seat's down. And then you got to pull up the seat, and then you got to spend 25 minutes, you know, scrubbing up the floor because you peed on the floor for like a minute. And then, you know, now you're disappointed in yourself because you're a fucking, you're, you're, what is wrong with you? You know, like, what are you peeing on a fucking, what do you, look down. You know what I'm saying? How many times does that happen to you? Three, four times a week? It's owned by three. We got spangled. Anyway, this is what I've eaten today. Bro, I know you guys got to eat some better food, dude. This is serious, dude. This is absolutely diabolical shit, okay? And by the way, your plate is literally the same color and texture, it looks like, as the blanket. What is this, what is this friendship bracelet shit you got from Yu-Gi-Oh in the back? XO? I'm on a health kick at the minute, but that's well and truly gone out the window today. Leah made us a bacon roll for breakfast. She cremated that bacon for our second breakfast. We had a Mackey's. Kieran and Charlie. Dude, you did not throw that shit on the bed. You did not throw that shit on the bed, bro. You you really threw that shit on the bed. All right, bro. That's I mean, that's what we're doing, I guess, man. That's This is what you guys do in the UK. I want everybody to know that it's from the UK. This is what I think of when I see this, okay? UK, this is your this is your guy. He's representing for all people in the UK right now for me, okay? This is diabolical. He real deal just took the hash browns and marinated the bed with that shit. Coated the bed with this shit. Uh, can you imagine how much grease is on hash browns? Also on the double sausage egg and McMuffin, dude? Dropped us when like saviors. I had a double sausage McMuffin with no egg and extra cheese with two hash browns. It honestly saved me. We had some snacks after breakfast. Right, this dude be drinking. Do you guys in the UK have a problem with alcohol or something like that? You know, you guys, you, you guys know you don't have to eat all. You guys know you don't have to drink all the alcohol. You can just have a little bit. If any of you tried these barbecue rings, they were ten out of ten. You can't have a hangover day without a Greg's. I had two corned beef pasta. I think he sets himself up for this. Like I think he literally the day before is like, yo, I'm about to. I'm literally about to just destroy some alcohol i'm about to be sucking down so much alcohol so the next day i could body slam like four thousand calories in just the morning time from mickey's days from my case that's what i'm thinking bro i see this shit way too often from him these and one steak bake and oh my god the flavors were melting on my tongue sexy pasty i'm dying to try the new blue drink from Starbucks. why but it's not coming in stock till tomorrow so we went to cost why are they even advertising that shit if they're gonna be like yeah come back tomorrow you can get this shit you know they got that shit already in stock bro instead i got damn that's crazy as fuck though you gotta be on some pure obesity shit to roll up to a starbucks and be like yo i heard about that I heard about that new drink you guys got. Let me smell that shit up. Salted caramel frappuccino. That's like, a, that's gotta be at least 500 calories for this. With no coffee, because I don't like coffee. No coffee? Why you even bother go to a coffee shop then? What are you doing, man? Like, what are you guys... It, it kind of makes a little sense when people go, oh yeah, man, I gotta get my coffee and they get the double espresso mochaccino, whatever the fuck. Like the giant drinks that are like massive calories, thick as hell. 
basically just milkshakes. It, it kind of makes a little sense if they try to justify it with coffee, which doesn't make any sense at all. And you know what? It's even gotten so extreme that the amount of times that I've gone to a Dunkin' Donuts and I go, yeah, um, let me get a medium. Let me get uh, a medium, two cream, two sugars. And they go, what flavor? And you go, what do you mean what flavor? Like, what, what are you talking about? Like, just the, the coffee. What are you talking about? And they're like, yeah, what flavor coffee? The fucking coffee? Like, what are you talking about? Just like the bean, I guess. I don't know, dude. What are you fucking talking about, dude? The fucking styrofoam? What do you mean? I don't fucking know the coffee flavor. And they're like, oh, oh, you just want regular. Yeah, bro. I just want regular, bro. I don't fuck with any of that extra shit. Like, whatever whatever you're thinking I'm going to get, I don't want it. And uh, a lot of people get the extra flavors of coffees or whatever, but I never would get that shit. But it's always off-putting. I never have that problem if I go to a Dunkin' Donuts and know who I am. It's very hard to mistake me given the mustache and the dashing good looks and the giant genitalia. So they know me as soon as I go in. I get that coffee one time. They know that I'm, I'm that's basically me. Though I did have one time a woman, she was like, oh, yep, I know what you want. You want that. You want the two, the two this and two that. And I was like, uh, nah, nah, what are you talking about? She was like, oh, there was another white guy with a mustache that came in yesterday. And you know what? I feel like a lot of people, that's racist, dude. Because you know how many times like somebody could say like, oh yeah, there's another white guy with a mustache. And you see him come in and it's like, that guy's Middle Eastern, bro. What you talking about? That dude's name is Mohammed. What you talking? That dude got a full beard and he's bald. What are you talking about? What? Like, sometimes people will just say that shit. I remember I was working at this one establishment. There was this guy named Adam. He was white. And I guess it was just me and him were the only white dudes that used to work there. And I guess we were, like, the same height, but completely different, you know, shapes and body structures. Um, we, we were around the same body, like, size. And I remember one time, this woman, Donna, she was, like, the, the front desk. And she was screaming, like, yo, Adam, Adam. Adam, and I'm just thinking like, damn, Adam's not even working today, bro, like, you calling for Adam, he's not even fucking here, this bitch is dumb as fuck, <laughs> you know, and she comes over, and she taps me on the shoulder, she's like, why the fuck you ain't reply, and I'm looking like, what do you mean, what do you mean, why I didn't reply, You're like, I've been calling your name for five minutes, and you ain't come over there, and I'm looking like, oh, you ain't never called my name, she was like, well, your name's Adam, and I was like, uh, what the fuck, bro, like, no, it's not, my name is David, and she was like, oh, Huh. Oh yeah, you're right. Damn, your name is David. I'm looking like I've been working here for eight months. Like I, I you you train me. Like what you mean you don't how you not know it's me? Like we don't even look remote. That dude literally is about to go to the military. He's a shaved ass head. You know what I'm talking about? This was like when I was in my emo era when my hair was like thick and it was like I was wearing it like a beanie. And I'm just thinking, like, what are you talking about, man? Like, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you, bro? You racist as fuck and you're white. You don't you you can't typecast me as basic white guy. It's happened though. It's happened. And we got baby Bella Peppuccino. She lived there. Not to be biased, but my dog daughter is beautiful. Nothing is hitting the spot today. I, I have no problem by, with that, by the way. The dog daughter, beautiful, amazing. I have no problem with that. Nothing's filling me up. So we went to Burger King. Yo. King. I got a Fanta Frozen, and I seen these Dorito Chili Chicken Fries. They look so good. But Yo, you guys got some really weird shit over there in the UK. Damn, what the fuck is going on? You guys got some exotic menu items in the UK. We don't have that shit. Like, when we go to McDonald's, it's the basic shit. Every once in a while, they'll have some sloppy shit uh, on the corner, and they'll go, introduce it. Introducing the all new menu item, the triple stacker with cheese. Come in today and buy one. Make sure you're bringing toilet paper because you will most definitely leave with indigestion. You see that? But we never get like the deluxe versions of anything. Like, I've never seen Doritos ever do a collab at any actual restaurant with the exception of maybe Taco Bell. Nah, especially not Mickey D's. That's crazy, dude. If you're getting anything special at Mickey D's, it's usually like the the menu items like a double quarter pounder with cheese or like maybe you get the extra, the triple stack burger or the quad stack burger. Like it's usually basic menu items. They just add more to it. I've never seen these. But they really would. I wouldn't recommend these at all. Yeah, Disgusting. Burger King chips. Oh, it's them. Burger King. Yeah, I mean, we don't have this shit. Right. And I just but went... then again, who the fuck is going to Burger King, dude? What? Is Burger King good over there in the UK? Man, I ain't seen... I... Man, I'm friends with a lot of dudes that eat a lot of fast food, bro. And you ask any of these guys, bro, you go, yo, bro, what's your favorite menu item at Burger King? They'll literally pull out a gun. Like, they'll pull out a gun, not because they're black, not because they're black, but they'll pull out a gun and they'll go, what you just say, bro? What you just say? What? Say that again. Say that again. And you might die. You might die. They are black, though. Vallel cheeseburger. Next stop is a KFC. I got a bar. Oh. 
what is your day looking like, dude? You're literally just fast traveling from one restaurant to the next. Do you, are you not doing anything in between this? Like, are you literally just going to fast food restaurants and being like, yeah, let me get that, let me get that, let me get that, body slam it in the parking lot and go, oh, man, I'm really not even full at all. We should probably go to another restaurant, right? Even though we're outside this one. Yeah, what's KFC? Let's go to KFC. Like, what are you doing? What? Dude, what are, you, what are you doing? Barbecue chicken twister wrap. That was six quid, mind. Spenny wrap. It was nice. Why are you even bringing up the prices if it matters? Like, what, did you already spend like 50 bills today on, on fucking Mickey D's alone? Yo, I don't, I don't give a fuck how much it cost at this point. You don't care either, dude. But they forgot the barbecue sauce, so it was slightly dry. We uh, took Baby Bell for a walk down Sully. What the fuck is this shit? Where is this, bro? Bro, you guys have some weird locations over there in the UK. This doesn't even look like a real place. This looks like the surface of Mars or something. After all that junk food I've had today, I'm gonna make- bro, why are your hands wet? What the fuck is going on with this guy, bro? Every time I see a new clip of this guy, it's always ambiguous of what's going on. You're about to eat some candy and then you just, your hands are soaking wet. What the fuck is happening? The homemade spag bowl. Not obviously fully homemade, like one from the jar, but I did add a tin of sweet corn just for you some You know you're supposed to add I, water to that, right? I put an onion in it as well. I love a spag bowl. I chucked in a few baby bells in there as well. And look at this baby bell cheese pull. If this is what heaven looks like, take me there now. It was so juicy, so- you, you didn't even really eat any of the food. You just had the cheese. Cheesy and so seductive. When I'm hungover, I just want nice drinks. This is my seventh Capri Sun of the day. I don't know if that's too far, but it has to be done. These munchies taste like gold bar on crack. And I finished off what the night the with a spag this? bowl toasted wrap. Hope you've all had a lush Easter bank holiday weekend. God I'm off damn. To bed now. See you all tomorrow. God damn. All. Call an ambulance. Oh Bro, what are you doing? I'm off to bed now. See you all tomorrow. Bro, this is diabolical. How much mayonnaise you need on that shit? What the fuck is that? Is this really what we doing out here in the UK? Bro, what is the serving size for this mayonnaise, dude? This got to be like eight servings. God damn, bro. This is not the type of guy you need at your restaurant, dude. That dude come in, do one of these, right? He get the bottle, do one of those, bro. That shit is serious. Look how much mayonnaise that is, dude. That's a lot. Call an ambulance or my mum, because I think I might be dead. There's only one thing that'll fix this, a domino. Why does it look like that? Yo. Why, why your pizza look like it got a yeast infection, boy? Nose. Cheesy garlic breads, 10 out of 10. Wedges from Domino's are always a bit shit, and they? Bro, every day this dude just be having the same problem. Oh my god, I woke up again, and I drank too much again last night. I promise I didn't do it on purpose, so I can eat a lot of food tomorrow. Anyway, so I ordered Domino's. I know it doesn't look good, but so what? It's my breakfast. I'm eating Domino's for breakfast. My life is literally terrible. So anyway, we had Domino's for breakfast. And of course, you know, later on today, I have to get a Mackey's. That's basically it. But I still ate the box. And I so you... So hold up now. Let me... Hold up. Hold up. I just got... So you ordered garlic bread with cheese on that shit. Basically pizza. And then you ordered the fries. All right. I get it. I get that. And then you also had pizza. All right, bro. I'm starting to see a little bit. It's kind of a problem. This is an issue, bro. I just want you to know that this is not good. This is actually bad. I couldn't decide whether to have a Texas barbecue without any peppers or a margarita. So I got half and half. It was 10 out of 10. I slept most of the day. Woke up, went to Greg's, but they were closed. So I thought Mackey's. We stopped and got a scoop of chips on the way. I promise I didn't watch this video before. It's just obvious. He really deal be capping though, bro. I hear this too often. Oh my God, I haven't had a Mackey's in so long. So you know we had to go and I had to get the new menu item. By the way, yes, this was 50 pounds. It's every single time, bro. Like this guy, and by the way, can we talk about something real quick? What's up with you guys in the UK eating all these fries? This is ridiculous. Uh, why is every meal got to have something to do with fries? Everything, literally everything. You guys haven't heard of rice or like, I don't fucking know any other carb source besides fries, dude, or chips, sorry, chips. What is going on with that shit?
it, it's too much. You guys go overboard with this. Woke up, went to Greg's, but they were. Coke. It's not just him too. A Becky Jones, dude. There's this other UK woman that I watch on TikTok. Why do you guys love French fries so much? I mean, French fries are good. I get it, but they're not this good. Boost. So I thought Mackey's. We stopped and got a scoop of chips on the way, just in case the queue was. I've not. never in my life heard of a scoop of chips, bro. You, bro. Yo, you real deal ordered that 20 pieces insane. That's 870 calories right there. And I was actually starving. <sighs> Dry as fuck. And I got 20 chicken nuggets. I had no time to chew. Cheese bites and a double cheeseburger. Oh. I was craving a frill so bad, but I'm far too hungover to get one. See you later. Why in a day? Vegans look away. Veggies look away. Pescatarians look away. Because all I've had today is chicken, chicken, chicken. Everything's brown. It's like everything he eats is like Neapolitan, dude. Started off the day with some chicken goujons and chips. It was from the Morrison's hot counter. It was pretty decent, to be fair. Some of the chicken... It's so crazy to even be like, yes, I've ordered this, and it was absolutely average. I still ate it, though, because I was so hungry. I was... I drank too much the night before, so I had to go, and I had to go to Greg's, and I had to get a quick step. Oh, and by the way, I did stop in between before I went to Mickey D's and Greg's. I had to stop to get more French fries. Sorry, chips. Goujons had bold patches on. It was a bit scary, but I'm it tasted upset. less. We went to Chopsticks yesterday. I had half, half and half rice and noodles with Yo. salt and pepper chicken, katsu chicken, and caramel chicken. I put it in the oven to heat it up. Yo. It looked a bit dry, so I added sweet chilli sauce and mayo. It was only lukewarm. I didn't have time to wait for it to heat up properly. Yeah, Mayor you had to body that right away. You can get ill. I really don't want Sam and Ella, so I'm hoping I'll be okay. It was stunning. 10 out of 10. If I get diarrhea and sickness, I promise I'll still do a what I eat in a day. I'm done with it, dude. I'm done with watching so many people in the UK just dominating the landscape of what I eat in a day. And every time I look upon you guys, I'm just thinking, like, how does it get worse? Like, how do you guys eat that much fries? Why is it always fries? And so much mayonnaise, dude. You guys be literally just on everything you eat, dude. It, salt on everything. You got to eat too much of that shit, bro. Is, you guys got to get better food. You know you guys can eat other things, right? Like, there's not... I get it. Like, you guys like Maccaese. And you guys like Greg. And I get it, bro. Like, it's good. But I'm, I'm sure it's good. But everything kind of looks the same. Like, literally everything. Like, you guys are literally so caught up in this, like, fast food era that you're literally traveling to other countries just to get the same food. What are we doing there, bro? Like, use other shit, right? Can you imagine spending, like, $8,000 on a, a vacation somewhere and then going to McDonald's? Like, what? What the fuck? What the hell are you doing? But anyway, we're going to end the video here, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate it if you could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. So if you could do any of that stuff for me, I'd appreciate you tremendously. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, I don't know how you got here, but you're here and I love you for that. Um, leave it down below by typing in Mackey's or however you spell that. I don't know, dude. I don't know how to spell Mackey's, but you know, put down below Mackey's, dude. We got to represent for the McDonald's gang out there. Represent, you know, for all the McDonald's people, um, Chef Boy RD and stuff. But anyway, uh, you're beautiful, by the way. You're such a specimen of human being. I bet you don't even need to put a straw in anything you drink. The, the liquid just jumps out of whatever container that is and it goes right into your mouth because you're just such a beautiful entity and it you just command the lubrication i know you do i know you kind of get me a little bit lubricated right now like a african water snake yeah that's what i'm that's what it is for me but anyway um you want to check out my social media it'll be linked down below in the description in the description of this for this video enjoy the rest of your day guys